say, YouTube, uh, wife and I just got back from Las Vegas last night. Uh, yeah, I feel like trash. I uh, feel like shit. Uh, it was good to go somewhere warm, but uh, came back to Edmonton and it was snowing. Go figure, and then woke up to snow on the ground. That's great. Anyways, I've been waiting to unbox this. This has been sitting in my work since last Friday when I was already in Vegas. And I've got a strange obsession with these Chinese saws, so I got another one. This isn't a cheap one. Oh, it's cheap. Uh, it was uh, 260 Canadian, which would be like $197 US. But this one looked a little nicer, so let's see what it's about. And so I just bought that one from Home Harbor, it was just 150 Canadian, which would be like 110 US. But uh, yeah, see what this one's all about. Maybe it'll look like some trash in real life, because you never actually know what you're going to get. Neighbors are moving, so they'll probably want this box. So here we go, Pro Yama. That's a brand everyone knows, right? Pro Yama. It's uh, an 18 inch bar and 22 inch bar. As far as displacement, um, the ad said 62 and 50. I'm guessing it's a 50, like most of these saws tend to be. Um, we shall see. I'm not expecting much, but these are pretty much all the same. Some different plastic, some don't have different plastic, but uh, yeah. It's gonna grab a big Bowie knife because I see a lot of people do unboxing with stupid knives, but I'm just, I'm just gonna use my box cutter. Okay, mm, that's quite the smell coming out of there, that sounds. It smells very chemical, but got an owner's manual with a separate parts diagram. Just look at that there. Yeah. Normal stuff. The other ones I have just had the parts uh, list in the manual, but whatever. More cardboard. Ooh, lots of goodies. Now, what do we have here? Now, this bag, this bag has some dogs. These dogs are actually more aggressive than I've seen on other giant M8 saws. It comes with a chainsaw file. Ah, let's open this guy up. Take everything out. And we have some kind of gasket for the guide bar. It's kind of different. Uh, Flat head. I'm assuming this has standard flat head carb adjustment, I would assume. Uh, chainsaw file. Ooh, that seems actually oddly coarse, but I might actually give it a go. It actually looks like 732, so I'm wondering if this has a 3 8 pitch chain. That definitely looks thicker than... I can grab my gun. I don't know where those are. But, um, yeah, I'm guessing that's 3 8 Or, sorry, no, 732 for a 3 8 chain. Got some bar nuts and dogs. And like I said, these dogs are quite a bit more aggressive than other ones I've seen. But it is what it is. There's a sticker in there. Oh, so we have one carrying case. Must be for professional use because that's what professional people do is put their saw in a bag. And who knows, maybe we'll use it. Who knows? Um, oh yeah, it is a full 3.8 uh, 050 chain. Chain actually looks not too bad. That's probably correct. It's actually a full chisel chain, too. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's definitely a full chisel chain in there. That's, that's kind of cool. That's 64 drive links. I'm guessing that's for the 18 inch bar. And then here's the other one, 72 drive links for a 22 inch bar. So I'm guessing what they're calling a 22 inch bar is actually a 20 inch bar because uh, like home lights use 70 drive links for a 20, I think other manufacturers are on that, but we'll see. If I get the tail of the tape measure. I was gonna pause you guys for a second here. Yeah, so I just want to grab a tape measure for once I have it together to kind of measure the size of the bar. What else do we have in here? Hmm. We have no 
other, well, I like the other fish jug better. This fish jug's a little more practical than the one that's sucked in with it. It'd be hard to do while you're driving down the highway, but anyways. Graduations are just five and ten. I'm guessing that's for 500 milliliters and a thousand or a liter. I, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Whatever. I will read the instructions. Oh, not though. I, I use 41 for everything. So got a face shield. Wife will be happy. Oh, well, this seems really high quality. I trust this to save my face. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's better than nothing, but I really wouldn't trust that at all. That might be a giveaway. Uh, some earmuffs. You get a lot of goodies with this on, but mm, that chemical plastic is all. They're pretty cheap, but I might actually throw those in my truck because I often forget to bring uh, ear protection. You got bar cover, it's pretty typical of all these Chinese saws. Got your standard El Cheapo, your employer hates you kind of gloves. It's the 22 inch bar, which I'm gonna throw tape on that right now. So the overall is 23, so I'm guessing this is more just the 20 inch bar, because once it's in the saw, but whatever. And then you get the 18 inch bar, which I'm assuming the same thing, it'll measure out at 20 inches, so that might actually be an 18 inch install, so that's kind of a bonus, but I probably put the 22 inch on, because that new over sucks to make fucking firewood. I mean, don't cut it. Well, actually, I do cut some trees that are over 20 inches in diameter, but it's just pine, so it'll probably go through it anyways. Now the saw. And, uh, the chain break. Damn it. Get those detonators after. So yeah, here is the saw. Here it is. See, and the fact that it says PCS 50 on it, it's a 50cc saw. See, this one says 40 to 1. The last one I bought it was 50 to 1. And then I think the other one actually said 25 to 1 or something. Something silly like that. That's not a primer bulb. No throttle lock, but usually you don't need that with the primer bulb. But actually, with these chokes, when you pull out the choke, it'll put the uh, throttle in half throttle. High idle, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there it is. That's a tiny hole in the exhaust. I'm going to probably pull up that screen right away. I'm guessing this is probably one of those EPA mufflers. Yeah. Made in China. It's got a rim sprocket. I kind of dig the fact that it has a rim sprocket. Yeah, this is... It's actually not a bad looking saw. I mean, the plastic actually looks a little better than on other ones, so it's got like little reflectors there for whatever reason. I don't know. Oh, oh it's, got the, it's got the bungee cord start. Okay. I don't like that starter system, but it is what it is. because this supposedly has the better air filter set up. Hundred and sixteen decibels. This is louder than my one I got from Princess Auto before. Okay, I'll grab that for a second and use some comparisons. Yeah, so here's the Forest King version. Um, that. 
you can see this one says 114 decibels. This guy, you can see that is 116 decibels. So why is it different? But I love the compression on this thing. That's some crazy compression. Monster of a saw. But anyways, let's put this together because why not? Oh, yeah, let's take that off. I'm scattered right now. And the heat and the beer and everything and being in Las Vegas, I feel just like shit today. Why is that actually coming off? What's going on there? It's gotta be all the way out. Huh. Why can't I get that off? Am I missing something? Probably not. Back on. Huh. I don't know why that won't come off. Huh. Don't even want to pry it, but I think I'm going to have to. Maybe that's a small pin. That's not good. That's a new air filter setup. I thought this had one like have my um, Princess Auto saw, but uh, this one's actually notched out. Huh. That's interesting. And the carb is... Assuming standing flathead. I don't know, I have to say the fit and the finish of this one except for that cover, but that's that's not that big an issue now that I know it's why it was doing that. And it should do it again. Yep, it'll screw back in. Yeah, I must say this cover does not exactly fit very well at all. Not today, but I'm probably going to do some modifications on that. It's got the same cheesy on-off switch. Okay, so there definitely is some quality control issues. But, what do you expect? So I think this is my third Chinese saw, and this is the first time I've actually had any quality control issues like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so there's that stupid little basket thing. I don't know why they put this on. But apparently this little gasket's made in England. Huh. Inch bar. That's getting out of the grease hole. It's always handy. Um, because I'm so trashed, oh well not trashed, but I was trashed on Sunday. Uh, 
probably be starting this until the weekend. I'll probably do some cuts with it. And then I'm going to do the cuts with that other one too. Now we'll see how this chain does. It'd be nice if it was actually serviceable, but... From my re what I've read online about all these Chinese saws is it's really hit or miss if the chain is any good. Who knows? We'll find out. Get some heavy. in Vegas, I should have checked out like me, all those bodies are pulling out of there. I'm sure if you drained any lake in North America, you'd find bodies or the world, I suppose. Okay, so, well, that's way the hell out there. That's gonna have to... This feels a little... Funky, but it's like too much work for when you're hungover. Way too much work. That stud was like right to the center. I don't know why it was shifted like that because it seems like more work than just having it further back. But I'm gonna do it off camera, but I'm actually gonna. I think I'm gonna check the bore on this tonight. Why? Because I have not one, but two chainsaws sitting with me from the shop. I think the other one might actually be a larger displacement, but. with all these Chinese saws, the uh, clutch cover and chain brake assembly, it never seems to go on quite right, like not as well as like a, you know, higher end saw, but then again, what you do, you have to put toss somewhere. I'll get run soon enough, I think. No wood run tonight, but also I'll piss off the neighbors since it's Tuesday night. I always have anything. Chain break seems alright. Yeah, this chain's stiff. It's got stiff spots in it. Well, hopefully I'll work itself out once I run it. So the bar installed. We have right to the end of the chain, 20 and 5 eighths sticking out. So it's not really a 22 inch bar, but except it's a 50cc saw. That's probably a little much for it, but 
Well, this was the better oil cap at the uh, Home Hardware one, the Radley. It had a very tiny little oil cap. It was hard to hang on to, but this one seems a lot better. But anyways, hopefully I will fire this up for you guys this weekend and I'll have another video for you. Everyone take care. Take it easy.